Hello guys, today's video is for the PTR patch notes. This is part two. Blizzard have updated the uh, PTR notes with some very interesting changes to a lot of sets. A lot of sets have been buffed, pretty much buffed across the board. So uh, let's go straight into it, man. Quite into it, quite inside to there. Barbarian Seismic Slam, guys. The Rumble Rune will now consume all remaining fury to increase the rune's damage over time component by 15% weapon damage per point of fury spent. Holy fuck. That's a pretty fucking sweet man for barbs right there. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, guys. Crusader's uh, four-set bonus for Roland's legacy has changed. The damage bonus have increased to 2,500% from 1,250. They've dropped to Jay Wilson and doubled it, man, for sweep attack and shield bash. So we might see viable Roland's now in GI push, maybe. Fantastic. Monk guys are for Inner's favors changed as well for six set bonus. Damage bonus for each mystic ally has been increased to 125% now from 100%. So quite a big buff there for Inner's as well. Now guys, here's a uh, one here that I've not seen buff for a long, long time. My probably my favorite set of all time, which is the pet set for the Witch Doctor, the Zuni Master Horn. Now what they've done, they've changed the six set bonus to a whopping 2,500%. Up from 1500, they slapped on an extra 1000 damage on the 6 set bonus of the Zuni Master, which is absolutely fucking crazy. That's well good, because, you know, we've been talking on stream about kind of misusing Zuni Master for Carnival and, you know, the melee fetishes builds and things like that. Don't get me wrong, this is definitely a great st uh, step in the right direction, Blizzard. Thanks very much, man, because uh, I, love, I love Zuni Master. I, lo I love seeing all the pets, man, just running around, just wrecking shit. It's fantastic. And uh, the damage buff is very, very welcome received. But the problem that always has been, though, with Zuni Master set is its itemization. Especially where there is no Zuni Master shoulders. Please, Blizzard, give us Zuni Master shoulders. The community have been asking it for it now for, my god, pretty much since you uh, released the set, pretty much. So, if you please put in Zuni Master shoulders, that would help massively with the... Uh, with itemizing this build correctly in the right way. Another thing as well, guys, don't get me wrong, you know, like I said, you know, the damage bonus is fantastic. And it's very much welcome received. But the way that you trigger the sick part set, when enemies are hit by it at your mana spenders for eight seconds. So basically, we only get this damage bonus when we hit with a mana spender. Pretty much the only mana spender you can really effectively use, especially in the GR environment, is Haunt. Because, you know, as a target dies, the Haunt will jump to the next target, and then they're debuffed for just eight seconds, okay? I think this needs to change now. You know, if you want us to go into GRs, you know, just spamming the haunt like absolutely crazy, you don't get to dodge a lot of bad effects in the game. Pretty much, you're just sitting there, standing still, saying, "Right, gotta debuff this guy. Right, now this guy, now this guy, now this guy, now this guy, now this guy," and you're just standing still, and all this incoming, boom, 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 especially with the goat spearmen now in the game. So, uh, you know, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Um, what you can do, you can maybe change this to another skill. You know, instead of a mana spender, maybe change it to, uh, for instance, Big Bad Voodoo, for instance. Maybe, I'm just spitballing here, but maybe something like Big Bad Voodoo for the duration of Big Bad Voodoo, then you, all your pets' damage increases by up to 2,500%. You know what I mean? And this comes to another thing as well. Um, with Xenomaster, back in the day, it was all about the fetch DPS. You know, fetch DPS was wasn't OP, but it, it was good. It was viable, you know what I mean? Right now, the only viable pet DPS we have is Gargantuan's. You know, Toolman's Finger is nowhere near strong enough. I'd love to see Toolman's Finger make all the dogs big, rather than just one single dog, so he can compete with the short man's finger for Gargantuan's. But I would really love to see Fetish's viable DPS as pets again. We all miss it, and I, I, you know, if I had my way, I'd play uh, Zuni Master all day, every day, because I just love the pure pet set. It's fantastic. But um, yeah, just change if you can, guys. Maybe consider changing the trick, the way it triggers. Maybe BBV that make us use Star Metal Kukri, which basically we never ever use anymore. You know, it's an unused weapon now for Witch Doctor, sadly, pretty much. And uh, maybe attach f some uh, fetish damage to the Star Metal Kukri to entice players to actually use it again. Maybe tie it into some sort of like fetish set again, sort of thing. And same for a Transcendent Spell. You know, Transcendent Spell. You know, summons fetishes. There's no fetish damage on there, sort of thing. So that's just a couple of viable ways, you know what I mean? Maybe you just put Fetch Damage on, Transcendent Spell, Starmail Kukri, change the six, pit, six piece bonus over to drop in a big bad voodoo, actually use that rune again, which we haven't used in forever now. It's pretty much since the nerf. So um, yeah, just a little bit of feedback, guys, maybe to get it going. So please give us Zuni Master Shoulders and increase Fetch Damage via those couple of items or another combo. Give us a Fetish Ring, guys, that'd be cool. <laughs> Lovely. Right, uh, it's okay, guys, sorry about that rant there. Just, uh, you know, maybe with the Witch Doctor, man, I absolutely love the Witch Doctor to absolute bits.
Okay, guys, so up next then is the wizard, uh, Dalzair's Mechanon Opus. Two set bonus has changed. Cooldown of slow time is reduced by three seconds down from two. And when casting Arcane Orb, Energy Twister, Explosive Blast, Magic Missile, Shock Pole, Special Blade, or Wave of Force. So basically it's just dropped down by two, two seconds. Four set bonus, guys. I received a 10% damage reduction buff. Fantastic. It needed this. Up to 60% now. Six set bonus, guys. It's gone up by 1,000%. Emmys take 3,500%. Holy shit. Up from 2.5. One inside. Slow time. Uh, the slow and damage bonuses persist on Emmys for 5 seconds after they exit this slow time. And um, they've added a new Demon Hunter item as well. Demon Hunter. Holy point shot. Impale throws 2 additional knives. Oh man, that's cool. That is really, really cool. Uh, no, each enemy can only be hit once per skill use. But that's pretty interesting, though. Empower throws two additional nice, man. That's pretty cool. Maybe you can see a new uh, build there, maybe. Fantastic, man. And there's just a little change here for a set dungeons, which ain't particularly worth reading out just yet. Also, guys, uh, Primal Agent chain design change as well. Those that uh, don't know, um, Blizzard is introducing the next tier of uh, agents into the game, which are called Primal Agents. They're a lot stronger. They have like a red border, a much more higher stat, around about thirty percent or so, like well, thirty percent mainstay anyway. But um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of chaos in the forums right now, saying, "Oh my god, oh my god," sort of thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, oh, and more RNG. Uh, I personally don't mind hunting down loot because it's a loot game so personally I don't mind but it looks like Blizzard can change the way that these will be introduced into the game so let's quickly read out this a little bit uh, there it is uh, here so there are definitely some good and valid concerns uh, we are going to be making some significant design changes with primal agents uh, these changes aren't set in stone and have some technical hurdles behind them so they won't be making the next PTR patch, but a future one instead. So, you know, they're, they're, they are listening. They're just a community as a whole. And uh, we're going to change the way they're going to be introduced. I have no idea what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to make it so we have to farm X materials to eventually craft a primal agent or something like that. But um, well, we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see man. It's kind of interesting there's another tier of item coming into the game. And there you go, guys, man. That is uh, all the information I've got so far. As usual, as soon as I find anything new, I'll upload it here to the good old YouTube. And there you go, guys. As usual, uh, please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care and have fun, man. See you guys soon. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Zuni Master Horned. Pew.